offer from both clubs. I think VCU should feel pretty good about its uh, position in terms of the bubble line. Rhode Island, not so much. Obviously, a win today would erase all that. And this is the last vestige personnel-wise of the Shaka Smart era uh, at VCU with Jaquan Lewis, the point guard, Mo Ali cox their power forward. Will Wade has done an excellent job picking up that mantle and carrying it. Forward. I think the URI Rams have earned their way to the field, whether they win or lose today. You are the bracketologist on the desk. So I'll defer to your judgment. <laughs> all right, guys. One of the greatest parts of our road to the Final Four is meeting the teams who are making the journey for the very first time. While everyone's been lamenting whether the Wildcats of Northwestern will finally make history by being selected. Here are the others that will be putting on their dancing shoes for the first time. Include UC Davis, North Dakota, Northern Kentucky, and Jacksonville State. And we are joined now by one of those teams experiencing the madness for the first time and the first to clinch a berth to this year's tournament. The Ohio Valley Conference champs, Jacksonville State head coach Ray Harper and one of his outstanding players, Norbertus Giga. Coach, you've been to the tournament a couple of times with Western Kentucky. What have you told your team about the experience, about what to expect, what to look for, and how to handle it? Well, we've been off for so long that we, we haven't <laughs> even talked about the tournament. Uh, we've, been, uh, we've just been practicing and, and trying to get better, but uh, the main thing is just to enjoy the experience and, and, and enjoy the moment. Um, Coach, you talk about the time off, being away from playing. How have you tried to manage that more specifically over the last 10 days or so? Well, we just wanted to maintain some conditioning, keep the ball in the guys' hands, and really work on some offensive things. Uh, we've gotten a lot of shots, and uh, we'll really uh, start hitting things hard uh, this afternoon. Uh, no, Norbertus, you're a long way from home. Uh, you hail from Lithuania. I I'm curious, do you have family back home able to follow the story, follow what's going on, and uh, are they able to watch your games? I wish my mom could watch it, but uh, she tried to watch a couple of our games, but she couldn't just turn it in. It just didn't work for some reason. I don't know. Um, Norbertus, talk to me a little bit about your team. You, you, you anchor the middle, but your team is pretty much built around the backcourt players. How have you adjusted, one, to being in the States and then playing with a team that has um, such an emphasis on the perimeter? Uh, we just got to stick to our game plan and just, I just got to follow my seniors and just see what they do. And I just want to be the best to help them out too. <clears throat> uh, Coach Harper, you guys were picked in the preseason to finish last in the old. Ohio Valley Conference East Division. At what point in the season did you start to feel like competing and winning a conference championship was possible? Well, we were picked 12th out of 12 teams uh, in the coaches poll. Uh, so I, I think that'll tell you what people expected from us. But we, we didn't talk about wins and losses. We talked about getting better. And, and, and it's, it's a process. We had to uh, have these kids understand uh, there's a lot of hard work that goes into winning. And fortunately, we opened the season at Tulsa on the road and won by 10. And I, I think these kids at that point believed that if we if we did things the right way, that we might have a chance. And you know, we, we finished nine and seven in the league, but four of those losses was without this guy or starting power forward and Christian Cunningham. So we played some good basketball, and I think well, you know we're playing pretty well right now. Coach, as you say, you're going back to work today. We wish you all the best. We will be looking forward to seeing you guys. Thank you so much for joining us, and good luck to you in the tournament. Selection Sunday is filled with suspense, especially for those schools that find themselves on the bubble. When we come back, we'll break down who's in and whose bubble might be about to burst.